What's up, champ? This is uh, Wizards Coach here. It's about to show you guys how to run a 3-2 freelance offense. Uh, it's a good offense if you have uh, two dominant bigs down low, like a uh, uh, Marcus All, Randolph, Nene Gortat, uh Drummond, Greg Monroe, and so on. So uh, if you're strengthening your team as your uh, post players, you might want to run this set. I've seen a lot of videos on a triangle to... Uh, pace and space and the swing motion but uh they don't really touch on the three two so uh, that's what i'm about to do right now so uh first of all what we're going to do is like the saying goes we're going to uh keep it simple stupid and we're going to go with uh space the floor so uh see if we can get this tip right here and uh since we got hundreds in the game first thing we need to do is uh we're gonna get them up out of here get nana in there then we'll uh, run the space to floor. Now with space to floor, it's not too much movement. Your teammates, they're just going to space the floor around you. So wherever you move on the court, they're going to move with you. Spacing the floor, you know, you run to the corner, push them out the way, pass the ball around, just like that, just to get your bigs involved. So, you know, if you want to do some motion, you can work the ball around, burn some clock before you dump it down low to your big. Once you dump it down low, you basically, the floor is going to space around them. You're going to play off of what the defense gives you. Just a good offense for reading and reacting. So let's say I got Stoudemire on my hip, backing them down, and Carmelo helps out, gives room for Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce, you know, shoots a three. Uh, let's come down again and run it. You want to get it off to the wings. You got good wings. Close. Go to work down low with your big. Floor space form. Let him do his thing. Uh, what's also great about this offense is uh, you can call manual pick and roll. So we're going to do that next time down. And do it from the top of the key. You see how your wings space down to the corners for the help to come over. So you can get that started. But since you know you want to get your big man involved, this is a good way to do the pick and roll to get your big man involved. You know, pass it to the wings. I say he doesn't good, good, have good post position. You can call that pick and roll, pick and fade. If you got a pop guy, uh, I don't know why they didn't do that. But he's still open, still got the shot off. <clears throat> you know, sometimes in 2K, you got the icon past everything. So let's uh, run this one more time. Shot it off, we're gonna wait for Paul Pierce to cross over. We get him there. Don't like it. Set the freaking fade for me. And there we go to Nene. The perfect release and rhythm. Another thing you can do is let's say one of your wings is not a good three point shooter. Let's say let's pay Curry, your point guard, or Kyrie Irving, Lillard. It's a good three-point shooter. You want to have them on the wing. You can basically give it to your weakest three-point shooter. Let them bring it to the top of the key. That way, because everybody knows it's easy to feed the post from the wings. And you want to get your knockdown shooter, if he's a point guard, on the wing to put in work. And you can let that go. Fly right there. So basically... That's all you can do right now with the space to floor. You just basically keeping it simple, reading and reacting what the defense does if they double down. Shoot the shot. If not, you know, bring it back out. Work the post. Go one on one. Double down. 
Right now, we're just not making them pay, but you get the idea. So while that's the Wizards coach, that's uh, all I'm about to show y'all guys for the day out of the space to floor. If I don't combine all these videos together, the next one will be motion cut so you can get some movement out of this offense. So let's go right now, see if we can do something with we'll go side. Got him. Missed it. Oh. Okay. That's it right now. I'm about to uh, sign off. So uh, y'all have a good one. Happy New Year to you guys.